Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Native Redux. Now this is a pretty exciting mod for me because I am a big fan of Native in general but usually I like it to be a little bit different if you know what I mean. And hopefully we will be able to do something about that. So what we're going to do is we are going to just, you know, just select a variety of different things here and we're going to see how we do. So uh, that's for money and power, I guess we'll go for. And then we can select our banners. Now, Native Redux, what does it actually do? Well, according to the mod creator, what this does is it enhances every single aspect of Native itself but it doesn't change too much about the mod, so it looks like a completely different beast. In, in other words, it's not Floris, but it's also not native, you know, regular native. It's, it's doing something in between the two, so it enhances everything, but makes things just that little bit more enjoyable from, from native. So what we're going to do is, you know, with our standard uh, standard sort of special feature-ness here, I'm actually just going to go straight up for this. What's our persuasion? Our persuasion is intelligence. Uh, yeah, I guess what I'm going to do is just go for something like this. Then we'll go for a little bit in uh, power strike and everything. And we're going to go for some pathfinding. And we will go for a little bit in prisoner management. Yeah. What else do we want? Shield, I guess. All right, so that is pretty good for me. We're gonna just randomize once or twice and there we go. All right, so now for this particular special feature, I'm actually gonna do something that I really, really want to do. And that is, I'm either gonna play as the Nords or as the Kurgits because I kind of have a hankering for playing as one of the two because in my other special feature recently, I've been playing with Nord Huskals primarily, as well as Swadian Knights, and I kind of just want to play with the with the with the Huskals initially. So we're just gonna play we're just gonna play with the Nords, I guess. I think that's gonna be kind of fun. Anyway, if you'd like to check out this mod, there is a link in the description. It doesn't use WSE or anything like that. So if you are you know if you're not a big fan of using WSE or in general, you just would prefer, you know, to have a standard sort of, uh, you know, install or anything like that, then you can do that. No problem at all. Anyway, there's a nice clean first kill for us right there. And we are now in the merchant's house, hopefully not in his bedroom. And we're just going to be leaving. Thanks very much. There we go. He gave us a hundred to go and find some things. All right. So as you can see already, the graphics on the world map have been changed. You can see the textures on the ground are just that little bit different, a little bit more enhanced, a little bit more, uh, shall we say, I don't know, high detail, I would say. And otherwise, we're going to take a look at our diplomacy preferences here. So it's got diplomacy, as you can see. So obviously, that is indeed something very, very good, because that means you can do all kinds of things in regards to owning your own faction. You can obviously do this kind of thing. You can change the prejudice level and the economic and, you know, diplomacy horse speed and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And then, of course, it does have the Lancer fix, horse archer fix as well. So horse archers are going to be just as annoying as you remember them, but just that little bit more deadly. We're going to be disabling companion complaints. Thank you very much. And there's also formations AI if you so desire, if you want to use that. Personally, I'm just going to use Disabled for this special feature for the moment. And then we can take an action. You can modify your Noble Banner. You can select a book and so on and so forth. Is there anything in reports here? I can't see Troop Trees. Hmm, that's something that I'd like to see. I'd like to see Troop Trees if at all possible, but I don't really mind either way. Anyway, let's see if we're actually able to get a couple of people here so we can oh hello okay apparently <laughs> apparently i'm being attacked by some sea raiders thank you very much for this horse i am desperately going to need it so not entirely sure how i'm going to do this i really don't have the best horse here you know what i probably should have done i probably should have created a female character because creating a female character is going to give you that insanely cool spirited courser which makes all the difference in how effective you are going to be in these uh, initial battles and uh, yeah this this is going to be pretty painful I don't know whether we're going to be able to do this but I guess I will try my best my horse is really quite bad it is letting me down like no one's business right now so don't know whether we'll be able to do this you know what I'm actually going to use my crossbow let's use my crossbow a little bit 
Yeah, there we go. A little bit of damage. Ooh, nice. Uh, did, you, did you hear that? A little bit of a custom sound from the crossbow there. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right. So far, so good. I'm liking this mod initially. And obviously, the, the one thing that we have to do is we have to try out everything. We've got to try out the, the arena. We've got to try out the tournaments. We've got to try out becoming a vassal and uh, indeed maybe even becoming a, a liege of our very own. I think that could be pretty fun. So if we can make that happen, that would be great. If we can't, then, well, that's just how it is. And uh, you're going to have to try it for yourself, I guess, if you are actually uh, interested. Okay, I'm going to continue just going around here, and uh, hopefully I will be able to succeed eventually. All right, so, so far, as far as I can see, the tournaments seem like pretty standard fare here, but obviously the main goal of this mod creator is to make an experience similar to native but in a way that it makes it not too different but it just enhances it in every single way and i know that there are a number of other mods that do a similar thing but i feel like this one seems to have that right balance because even though i actually cannot see any of the troop trees unfortunately we should be able to take a look at some of the other factions relatively soon because I will be able to uh, to hopefully uh, get into some higher level battles reasonably quickly and after this particular battle I am going to attempt to uh, do just that we are going to you know we are going to win this tournament hopefully I uh, you know I obviously just have a small knife at the moment which is really not doing the business as much as we would want it to and uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, win out here and then we will be creating a very, very powerful army out of as many Nord units as I can get my hands on. And then, and then, we are going to be joining as a vassal to the Nords, or at least hopefully joining as a vassal to the Nords, and then uh, hopefully partaking in some, in some higher level battles. There we go. All right. Hopefully we'll be able to win this. You impudent whelp, I'll crush you, is what uh, this fellow, friendly, friendly, Mr. Count, Mr. Count Friendly, <laughs> yeah, he just said that, he just said that to us, that's not really nice, that's not really nice, we're actually gonna go, and we're gonna teach him a little bit of manners, shall we say, anyway, I have a numerous amount of different units now, we have a, actually we have the same horse, I haven't upgraded my horse for some reason. I've upgraded everything else, with the exception of maybe my shield. But yes, otherwise I have uh, some new armor on, I've got a new sword and everything. And we are a little bit leveled up. And I have a number of high tier Swadian cavalry, high tier Nord infantry. And I haven't actually gone for anything else because I think I have a pretty good understanding of what the mod creator has done with the troop trees. And these are really good in my opinion. These are great changes. Now, the first thing I gotta mention, Swadian Cavalry. Basically what happens is, Swadians level up from recruits, they go into militia, they go into uh, footmen, and then they also go, and then they go into horsemen. Or in this case, they go into cavalry. And then the cavalry has two troop splits. They can either go into heavy cavalry, which are more like Mm, shall we say knights or they can go into light cavalry which are these fellows and they seem to come with crossbows now if you ha take a look at the heavy cavalry they seem to come with lances and much heavier armor of course heavier horse much more well armored horse and all that stuff then on the nord side of things we have nord huskars as you can see here clearly they are using two-handed weapons they are using two-handed massive axes capable of cleaving a man in two and then you have on the other hand nord veteran shield men and these guys these guys are more like the standard huskars that we are used to from native they use shields they use as far as i'm aware i think they use blunt weapons I think they use blunt weapons. I haven't seen... No, no, they don't seem to use blunt weapons. It seems like they're actually killing people, so it doesn't seem like they use blunt weapons, but I think they use maces of some kind. So that's really, really cool to see. But anyway, shield men, everyone. Shield men are the, the sort of like other version of the of the Huskarl from 
you know, from, from regular native. And I think that is a really, really cool change because it's basically, if you take a look right here, you can see these guys go into light cavalry and they also go into, into heavy cavalry. You can take a look at their equipment and everything. So they come with light crossbows and Templar swords, which is pretty cool. And you can see here that they're, you know, they're standard sort of, you know, light cavalry. They have some pretty decent horse archery and riding skill too. So that's nice. Otherwise, we have heavy cavalry here. They are slightly a little bit better when it comes to attacking things, riding around, doing significant damage. And uh, they, of course, have a great lance. So they come with the great lance instead, as well as a much heavier horse, heavier armor. And I think this is actually going to be one of those times when I'm going to say that I think that this mod is actually really well tuned. And that's the thing. M most mods... And this is no offense to anyone out there, by the way. Any mod creator watching this, I love all kinds of mods. And I'm talking about the crazy ones like Paradigm Worlds. I'm talking about the historically accurate, in-depth ones like Nova Aetis. And everything in between, basically. And I'm going to say that if you are a person that has just played native and you're looking for something a little bit different but you know kind of just a, a, that little bit step up from from native i'm going to recommend playing this and uh, maybe maybe a mod like uh, calradia 1417 but if you don't want to deal with wse which i know can be a bit daunting for people that have just started modding Warband. You know, it can be a bit daunting to deal with WSE. This mod runs without WSE, and I have had no promise whatsoever, no error messages, nothing like that. So everything is, is going really, really well with that. Anyway, we're currently at war against Wadia, as you can no doubt tell. I am a vassal of the Nords, and I thought it might be an idea to check out the siege mechanics. I don't know what the siege mechanics are like, so we're going to try and test them out. I have an engineering skill of 7 at the moment, so it should be pretty easy to get these built. And I'm going to wait until morning. There we go. And let's... Oh, okay. They're actually coming out to meet us. I think that's a bit ill-advised shall we say but uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to uh, teach them a bit of a lesson oh look at this this is cool this is very cool this reminds me of britain world actually this uh this kind of setup where we're starting very very far away from the walls that reminds me of britain world very much because i can remember in that running from all the way back of uh, you know back of back at our camp all the way to the walls being shot at by all kinds of thrown weapons and everything and there's a bridge look at that that's cool. That's really cool. I, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this mod. And initially, you think to yourself, oh, look, look, this is just all very, very similar. But no, there are all these little, little details that have been changed. And all these details add so much to the experience that you don't necessarily think will add something. But they do. They do, very much so. And I'm talking about things like food count. And you may not think, oh, food count? Really? You know, food count? Really? That's going to make a big difference? Yeah, it makes a huge difference. And uh, I, I, I was initially pretty shocked by it because I thought to myself, oh, look at this. The food has changed so dramatically. And I'm, I'm really happy about it. I'm actually really happy about it. And these are all the, all the changes that I'm talking about here that add to the gameplay. They add so much to the gameplay because who in their right mind wants to go shopping for food every two seconds when you have a really, really large army. And I'm talking about massive here. I'm talking about big army, you know, 300, you know, two, even 200 units. Who wants to have food that, you know, expires, you know, after, I don't know, after, you know, just like one day or two days of, you know, being on a campaign and everything. And I'm just running through here in a uh, reckless fashion just to just to kind of demonstrate, you know, all these units and everything and what they're wearing and all that stuff. And I, I also get to check out the, the after-death camera. Okay. So, the after-death camera. This... Mm, I'm not a big fan of this. And I mentioned a mod previously just now that also uses this kind of mod for the after death camera and I'm not a big fan of it it is using the numpad yeah it uses the numpad to move around the after death camera which I am not a big fan of 
you use WSD to move it uh, in a strafing fashion and forwards and backwards, but to, to like turn it up and down like this and to the left and, and to tilt it and all that sort of thing. It's basically like playing a flight simulator or something like that. So I would definitely recommend, if at all possible, if it is actually possible to change this to the mod creator, if, if you're watching this, I would just please say to change the after death camera because it is kind of hard to use. If it's not possible, then, you know, it, it, people can people can deal with it. But if you don't have a numpad, for example, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to actually use this. But I guess uh, then you probably don't want to die. I guess it's the, that, that's the only recommendation one can make in that in that regard. But anyway, can I actually leave this or? Uh, yeah, it seems like maybe not. Oh, that's a oh, that's annoying. I should have stayed alive, shouldn't I? That would have been much better. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so as you can see, the 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 sieges seem a little bit a little bit better, a little bit better tuned there. Obviously, we're not actually heading in just yet. We are now going to be going in. I'm going to be heading in with some pretty low HP, so obviously I might not be able to check out the whole thing, but I'm hopeful that we'll be able to check out the initial run up to it. As you can see, once again, we are placed very far back. And uh, it's been a long time since I've played native, so do obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe the Uxkal siege was like this. I don't believe that you were, you, you know, you started all the way back here and, you know, then you had this entirely big run up to the walls. I don't believe that that was the case. Let's ha yes, look at this. That's also been changed significantly. Look at that. There have been multiple ladders added to the walls and I'm talking about multiple I'm not talking about two or even three here I'm talking about a huge amount look at this there's one on the left there's one there there's two in the middle there's one on the right of those and there's two on the very very far right over there that is amazing that's really cool and that's again another very small change that I think is really very sorely needed in these kinds of mods and I'm talking about just expanding upon native just making it just that little bit better in every single way and I think that's cool and I think this mod creator has done a very good job and I'd highly recommend checking it out because as I say it doesn't require WSE so if you're someone that gets a bit of a headache you know in attempting to install that and having problems with it then I'd recommend giving this a go because as I say, if you're looking for just that little bit, little bit more of everything, and I'm talking about everything here, you know, the, the tournaments are enjoyable to play through, the uh, the field battles feel feel cool, you know, feel good. There's also formations AI if you want to use the formations AI and everything, and of course there are the various differences in between the troop trees as well, and it's not going to change everything by such a huge margin like Floris does but it's going to change things enough so that you actually have a good amount of fun actually these ladders are not even usable oh well <laughs> i actually thought these these ladders right here were usable but apparently they're not so that's oh that's a bit of a shame oh well never mind but maybe uh maybe the mod is i, I think the mod is actually still being worked on so obviously these things can be changed but uh, yeah, in general, I think it's actually very cool. And I'm very pleased to uh, have done a special feature on it and, uh, you know, give, give a little bit of exposure to the mod itself because, uh, you know, modders sometimes do have a pretty difficult time in getting their mod seen. And if any modders are actually out there, any mod creators are actually out there right now and you're making mods for Warband, don't hesitate to get in touch with me via any social media, even... Uh, you know, even, you know, Twitter and, and Facebook, you know, all that stuff. I uh, I check Twitter a little bit more than, uh, than I check Facebook. But, uh, yeah, just, just as a, uh, you know, by the by, you can contact me anytime and I'll be happy to check out your mod and, and you know, make a little video on it and, uh, you know, try and help out a little bit. Anyway, I think that is going to be it for our little preview of the Siege mechanics. And we're going to take a look at uh, some of the other some of the other units. Now, this is definitely something that I think you, those of you that are Kurgit fans are going to absolutely love. And it seems to me like 
they, uh, and by, by they I mean the mod creator, has added in an additional tier above the Kurgit Lancer. And this is amazing. This is amazing to me because having an additional tier above the Lancer makes the Kurgits into an even better cavalry force. And I really like that. I like that change a lot because Kurgit Lancers, they level up very easily. You can get to Kurgit Lancers extremely quickly and then it kind of just stops and their power curve just, just you know, becomes dead really. And uh, having an additional unit on top of that that is just that slightly little bit better is really really cool in my opinion they come with heavy lances strange swords kerjit black war mask actually and uh let's have a look at the lancer as well so you can see here they come with black helm heavy lance and a short strange sword so it's a little bit different there and they have uh, slightly similar stats but they do have the different gear and everything and obviously as I say if the mod is still in in active development then that's pretty cool otherwise the Rodox have not really been changed at all I've taken a look at them they still level up into Rodox sergeants they have slightly different gear as you can see they don't seem to come with with uh, pole arms as far as I'm aware ah they do they do come with pole arms sometimes and uh, yeah that's pretty cool so yeah they are pretty amazing I mean look at them they're, they're decked out in full plate armor and everything pretty nice and uh, otherwise they still level up into sharpshooters eventually and these guys are pretty standard you know strong units and uh, otherwise that will be it that will be it for this special feature i think i've basically touched upon everything that i can with the exception of creating my own faction and uh, I think I'll leave that to you. I think I'll leave that to you if you decide to download this mod. And a small reminder, there is a link in the description if you'd like to do that. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and for joining me. And I will see you next time.